Jared Poland Fro knows photo.com and it's photo of the week time in this case photos of the week i'm going to go over the photos from florence and the machine show that was at the festival pier in philadelphia a really cool place to watch a show sounds great outdoors right by the bridge i believe it's the ben franklin bridge uh overlooking the water the delaware into new jersey really cool place to watch it out you can google festival pier and check out their site um Interesting show. Uh, one opening act didn't do terribly too much. Uh, and then Florence comes on, uh, and it starts off with a big black um, screen or just cloth covering the whole stage or coming down, blocking the whole stage. So you can't see anything. You can't get any light readings. Uh, so I pretty much had to guess the light reading, sorry, my meter settings or the camera settings before she even came on. And what I started with was four thousandth of a second, ISO, sorry, ISO 4000, 35 at about five hundredth of a second. That's what I was guessing when I started, and it was pretty damn close. Uh, so I was really happy with guessing that setting and being on. There were about six people in the pit. Two people had point-and-shoot cameras. Uh, there was a cannon shooter. Another Nikon shooter and a Canon, another Canon kid came a little late. Um, but yeah, so interesting because I wanted to try to shoot more of the, the show. I'm, I'm the house photographer there, so you know sometimes I can shoot more of the show than not. Oh, and by the way, there's a bonus video coming up uh, after this. If you're on YouTube, go to froknowsphoto.com. Click on the link in the description on the YouTube video, and it will take you over to the bonus video because you don't have to log in or do anything uh, to get the video. It's right there on the page, and you will get to see that video without a password. It's going to be about uh, etiquette in the pit, and that's just a pit in general, not just a uh, pit for music. It's going to be a lot of interesting things that will help you out. So definitely click that link when you're done. So let's go through these photos of the week and I'll go through what was going through my, my mind. So I tried to get to shoot more than the three songs and I went into the production office. I actually just walked backstage. I didn't have a backstage pass or anything, but I, I'm known around there. So I walked back into the production office, knocked on the door, handed the girl a card and said, Hey, you know, I am, you know, Jared Poland. I'm photographing for the venture. She said, oh, you're the house photographer. And at that point I thought it was going to go well. I thought she was gonna be like, yeah, shoot whatever you want. But she was like, Oh, um, no, we only allow people to shoot three songs and nobody shoots more than three. And at that point, when you when you definitively say nobody shoots more than three songs, I just want to sit. I actually did. I said this. I said, why? Oh, well, just be, you know, because thanks for asking. And that was the yeah, I'm not going to curse. She blew me off that bad and said, you know, thanks for asking. And that's you know, it's one thing. Yeah, she didn't know me and she didn't know the type of stuff that I do. And I and I understand this. And I understand why they have three songs. And there are photographers in the pit that can get in the, the the musician's face or sometimes they block what's going on behind, you know, people that paid for a ticket. I understand that. But in order to get the shots that make her look good, because there are shots that could make her look bad, you know, in three songs, and I'd say basically two songs, because for one whole song, the lights were just terrible. There was no front light. It was all backlight. You kind of need more than three songs. But Nature of the Beast, they said no I had to do my best, so what's my game plan when knowing I have three songs from the pit with other people in it? Game plan. Wide shots. 24 to 70 wide shot, full body. Ultra wide shot, horizontal, showing the stage, the light, the setup. Tight shots, trying to get emotion of the singing going on, the hand movements, the screaming, the yelling, the stuff like that. Um, there's not a lot of female lead singers out there, so you have to be very careful in certain positions, the way you're shooting people, whether you're looking too far, you know, straight up their nose, not a great spot to shoot for many people. But in the bonus footage, I'm going to get to some really killer tips for shooting from the pit musicians and others. So this is what I got. Uh, one five hundredth of a second, 3.5 ISO 400, 34 millimeters with the 24 to 70. So I guess those settings to begin with, I had to shoot between two monitors. For those of you who don't know what monitors are, they're basically speakers that are facing towards the artist so that she can hear or they can hear themselves back uh, the vocals so that they can sing better um, so what I was going for was a full body shot you know the lights here I was on manual exposure autofocus continuous autofocus with the d3s uh, and just a shot like this you can see that we're uber duber sharp all the way through uh, I want to answer why I was at 3.5 and not 2.8 this time uh, I've been shooting at 3.5 
just to give myself a little bit more leeway for a focus so that it's not just the eye and you know the nose is out it gives me a little bit more while still blowing out the background when I'm zoomed in to 70 to 200 as you'll see with some of the other photos but this is a nice photo I like this I like the light in the back I couldn't get on a low enough angle and still not you know because it's a higher stage if I went on a lower angle to try to use the light to block her head to create some overspray it wouldn't have been possible because the stage was too high and I would be at too weird of an angle so you know I'm happy with this vertical shot um, I think it turned out well. Same thing here. What I did and I corrected is you can see that I moved my angle down to leave some more feet room because I didn't notice that in the dark that I missed that. So I redid that. Something you have to be careful about in the pit is shooting straight on. Um, where do I have a sample image like that? Straight on, straight on. Where's that image? I thought I had another one. Do, 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 do. Now I'm going too far. Hold on. Let me let me go back. I only took like 88 shots or something in this. There's a wider shot somewhere. So now you're seeing some of the shots that I didn't like. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe it was a little later on. No, where is it? Now I'm lost. I thought I had a really, really good shot here somewhere that was wide. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry about that. I'll come back to that later now that I found it. So, so this is a little inch. Oh, what I wanted to say is when you shoot straight in the microphone, it's like shooting like this. I'm singing and it's like all you see is the microphone and not my face and people keep texting me. So, yeah, this shot's okay. Nothing special. Nice lights going on. Nice front lighting. And that's why I moved to this. So, here's a tighter shot. Uh... This light in the background really plays a major part because there is another photo that I took where the light isn't in the background and it just takes away from the image. Um, I was at 640th of a second, so I sped it up a little bit because I, I could have. There, I saw there was extra light. Um, this is at 190 millimeters with the 70 to 200 2.8 shot at f 3.5, and I was using VR. I've been using it more often in these shows, and there is a photo that I missed that was out of focus, but it wasn't. it's not that it was out of focus, it, it was that the motors weren't kicked in the gear, there's that first second, and if you move really quick to shoot, it doesn't catch up, so that is one of the downfalls of VR at times, but the majority of the times it's better. So this is what I'm looking for, I do a wide, I start off in three songs, I know I've got to move through, I got to do some of these verticals wide so I get a full body, then I move in to do these tighter shots that show a little bit more emotion, you get the eyes, you get the feeling, so here she's singing, I like this, she's pulling back, she looks alright, uh, the color is nice. This, eh, not too keen on, but it's it's okay if they wanted a black and white, the client. Um, and then I got caught. I got caught in between. And that's why this isn't shot tighter. This was shot with a 14 to 24. So I was trying to go for wider. Like I said, I go ultra wide, wide, and really tight shots. Because that's going to run me through many different examples or samples of images for a show. There are other people on stage, but when there's three people to shoot, three songs to shoot, she's the band. The lead singer is usually the most important person, unless you're shooting like Joe Perry or something like that. Um, you know, and the guitar player is well known and stands out on their own, and then you have to get multiple shots of the lead singer and stuff like that. But I knew she was the most important here. I like this shot. It kind of reminds me of uh, Tintanic and, you know, Free at Last. Oh, no, that's not Free at Last. It's. Uh, King of the world. Yes, that's what they said. So I like this. I would have maybe liked it a little tighter, but again, couldn't go down lower with the angle because the monitors were in the way. Then here's an ultra wide, ultra wide shot. Uh, 14 millimeters, 6 40th of a second, 3.5 ISO 4000. I got locked in at that exposure because that seemed to work really well. So here's an ultra wide shot with the 14 shot at 14. I love doing this to show a scene. And what I what saved me here is that her head wasn't behind the microphone which makes it makes her stand out because if she was behind the microphone i have a few shots that i got that aren't usable because it's like a microphone coming out of her face so this is a really good shot i like the color i like the scene you can see the the uh set list on the ground the whole microphone you can see the background singers you can see the colors and that's cool then I move into a tighter shot, shooting from a little low. Sometimes it doesn't work. This is a, an interesting shot. I left it in here for the emotion of it. Not the greatest one ever, but I think it's usable. Um, this, I was really happy with. A horizontal, tight shot. 
This is showing some emotion. She's using her hands. She's singing. She's feeling the motion. The lights in the background blowing out behind her head. Really like that. So that's a bonus. Um, and then it's interesting. You know, she looks interesting here. I'll leave it at that. She's holding the drumstick. Uh, this probably isn't a good shot. That shot's going. This is a little better, but there's only so much you can do from these angles. Um, okay, so 70 to 202.8. Some of you may be saying, why did I cut off her feet? This was the widest I could get it at the point with the 70 to 200. Didn't know she was going to do something different on stage like this. She ended up throwing the stick out into the crowd. Um, I would have probably have liked to have gone a little tighter. Um, yeah drawing you know something a little tighter like this but this is what i was with with the 70 to 200 if i can't you know if i had a ability to zoom in and do it i would have done it i just didn't get it there it happened quick this is where i was at with the 70 to 200 tried to go wide to show the whole scene didn't quite get it but it's still a usable image um some more tighter shots with different light patterns going on same thing here a black and white emotional shot this is okay i like the light how it's shadow to here and it's 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 nice and framing her face especially this burst back here is pretty good yeah as you can see running out of things to shoot during three songs when she doesn't do too much on stage so those are you know that's where it's at my favorite shot from the whole thing um i like this a lot I like this wide shot a lot. You got to be careful when you're shooting certain artists and sometimes tight shots just don't work best because some people may look interesting in certain lighting or just at certain angles. So you have to be careful when you're doing that, when you're shooting these shows. But, you know, that's a rundown of, I mean, I had three songs. I shot about 80 pictures of her. I didn't motor drive because there was no reason to do that. The focus was on composition. The focus was on uh, running through my three lenses and giving the most angles to the client as possible in three songs. If I could have shot from the stage, I would have shot from the side. Uh, I would have shot some from behind to get the crowd in there to show some more emotion, uh, to get the lights with us because there were spotlights and that makes for great shots. But you're limited with three songs and the majority of us out there are going to be limited to three songs. But do your best to try to get as much access as you can. Stay tuned. Actually, click the link below if you're on YouTube to get the bonus information about shooting from the pit, um, some etiquette for shooting from pits in general, and some other killer tips and information. No password required. It's just on the site. You can watch it. It's there. Uh, so that's the photo of the week. Photos of the week this week. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!